So good morning everyone, I'm Laura Shane and Roshana from bc 2 i want Today we're going to talk about the... Uh, wait, just, just wait a minute and I will open the PowerPoint presentation. So, here is it. The reading standards, speaking and listening standards in the curriculum frameworks for English language art and literacy. First is development of vocabulary, which is a process by which people acquire words. Bubbling shifts towards meaningful speech as infants grow older and produce their first word around the age of, the, of one year. So how do you apply this strategy? So you need to describe the word because it is provide a description of each new word you introduce. For example, when the child says mama, papa, that their first new word in their whole life. So how you observe the child's behavior. So I observe that child's behavior that using his or her development of vocabulary, which is that they pay attention and response in what you say and also they encourage them to keep communicating and development for their language skills next is questioning questioning is the words that are more correctly are referred to as interrogative terms um other words that ask requires in english in English, include can, should, and would. So, I how you apply this strategy? So, its ability to formulate and react to inquiries regarding events, things, concepts, and ideas that refer to ask question skills. For example, when a child says, "Mom, where can I go in?" Where, mom, where can I go in the CR? So the child will always ask, ask to you and you have to respond that in the right, in the right, um, in the right direction, in the right direction, you can see that signs of the CR. So that's it. Next is what you will observe for the child's behavior. So I observe that child will always ask when he or she has a reason. And it is predicting and start to express the empathy. The, the child always use a lot of what, why, where, who, and how. So this question is to find out more about the world. Active listening. So active listening is to reply the person they're always speaking with. Ask questions to keep the discussion continuing and learn more provide be more space on what you heard so apply this strategy is you need to have pay attention show that you're listening and provide feedbacks for example when a teacher has um has discussed in front of you and you should have to pay attention and always listening because after that discussion of the teacher uh, the teacher will all have um, feedback or have a review what do you have what you have to learn the their what you have learned to the discussion of the teacher so that's it next is linguistic scaffolding as we all know that linguistic scaffolding is a teacher and children adjust their language to match the people's proficiency so, I have here the six strategies. First is show and tell, which means that every chance you, you have or show you demonstrate to students exactly what, are, what they are expected to do. Second is tap into prior knowledge. So, Ask students to share their own experiences, hunches, and ideas about the content or concept to study and um, have them related and connect it to their own lives. Third is give time to talk. So all learners need time 
to process new ideas and information. Next is pre-take vocabulary. So pre-take vocabulary is sometimes it is referred to front loading vocabulary. Vocabulary. So it's a teacher that the the teacher the didn't use enough. So that next is use visual aids. So use visual aids is um it is a graphic organizer that very specific that the helps kids visually represent their ideas, organization information, and also the graphs concepts such as sequencing the cause and effect. And lastly is post ask questions post review. So uh, do you wonderful the how to to have um I mean this is a wonderful way to check for understanding what student read a chunk of difficult text or text rather text and learn a new concept or content. For example, when you have to when you are reading, you need to have to read, 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 and then pause. And after you pause, um, you need to ask uh, questions to your friends or your your classmates. And after that, after you ask questions, uh, you need to have pause and review your what you're reading. So that is the strategies of linguistic scaffolding. So how I observe this? So I observe that scaffold, uh, linguistic scaffolding, um, many fact that mean that it takes longer to teach, but the end product is a far greater quality and experience uh, much more rewarding for all involved. So that that is it of linguistic scaffolding. Next, mediation. Mediation is a complex that constantly encompasses social, cultural, and linguistic factors, but it is the most basic form. So it is facilitating communication between two or more people, the groups who are unable to interact directly for any reason. And these strategies of mediation is first is make things more comprehensible, make connections between ideas and information. For example, tell the child mom and dad taught you about him or her, their favorite activities, schools, subjects, friends, and etc. Include what the parents said they, they like the most about the child by affectionate creative and helpful so that's it so i observed that children usually can express themselves more comfortably when they are playing next is conflict resolution so it's a process that allows two or more parties to work out a peaceful solution to a problem so what are the strategies it is first strategy is help them to verbalize their feelings. Second, practice conflict scenarios. Third, praise students when there is so conflict resolution. For example, when the kids are arguing or fighting, um, because of that, that things are one thing in their front. Um, all you need to do is teach one word that each child can practice say to each other. Say mine or please, that's it. So I observe that the let the children know total uh, rather um let the children know through your calm approach the conflicts are okay and they can be resolved with the help. So when you so when the children will have a conflict, all you need to do is to back up with them and let the child to to teach them on how to good way. So that's it.
Next is increasing the time, the increasing wait time. So increasing wait time is the amount of time the teacher gives students to think of their answers and raise their hands. So what are the st strategies I have here? First is providing students with a time to think. So give students 5 to 50 seconds to formulate the response to a question for which they should know the answer. For example, I count in my head to 15. Like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, so on. So most times, I get response by 10 to 10, 12 seconds. If you didn't get response uh, within 50 seconds, you can call on students or instead of asking for volunteers. That, uh, so that's the teacher will do to students. So... So what is I observe for increasing wait time is you need to is you need to have a give time to them before you answer it, especially the child. Um, you don't have to force the child. So all you need to do is you have to give him or her a time to think before her or she will answer. If he or she will not go into answer, you can ask. Um, some students that have a good answer. So that's it. Next is applying CIOP. So CIOP, which means the Shelter Instruction Observation Observation Protocol, which is a instructional model that needs that is highly affected in addressing the academic needs of English learners. So, what are their strategies? So, the strategies of this SIOP, which is that protocol provides a framework for teachers as they design and deliver lessons that make content comprehensible, just like, for example, their lesson plan. So, so as in the lesson plan, you have you when you teach a student you have to base on your lesson plan so what you observe a child behavior i observe that the child will always listen to the teacher on how they they approach on how they teach what they what they um they learn in the lesson so that's it and thank you